Yes, hello, Mr. Devesh. Uh, welcome on your media platform, and let's start your power plant snap for your final uh, UP RV UNL interview, as you mentioned yesterday. So, uh, what you prepared in power plant exactly? Sir, I have prepared over. I have tried to prepare almost every section in the power plant, except the compressor section. I have not studied. Other than that, I have studied almost all. Devesh, can you tell me the difference between low pressure, high pressure, and medium pressure boilers? so the low pressure are the boilers which uh, which work in a pressure range le lesser than 20 bars and the, med the medium pressure boilers are uh, work in the range of 20 to 80 bar and the high pressure boiler work in the pressure range of more than 80 bar and what are super critical boilers and what are the advantages of uh, operating a boiler under uh, over super critical conditions so super critical boilers are those boilers where where we we do not need a uh, a boiler drum because there we 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 heat the we we heat steam in such a manner that it directly changes to uh, the vapor state it does not go to the mm -hmm. it does not go to the intermediate stage of liquid and vapor phase it directly goes to the gaseous state so by this we are able to decrease the the size of the uh, um, Uh, the, we are we are actually decreasing, making the whole, whole power plant compact, uh, and the 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 boiler drum is no more required, and we we get uh, the mean temp the mean temperature of heat addition increases because the temperature difference between the steam and the flue gases decreases, that is the pitch point decreases. So we are able to get a good, good efficiency and good amount of work output. Devesh, what is critical point? so critical point is that point in the in in a vapor vapor phase diagram where a liquid uh, changes from where a, where a substance changes from liquid state directly to to gaseous state without going the intermediate state so how much is the critical point for water so for water it is a 220 bar and 373 degrees celsius can you give me any some examples of uh, super critical boilers so super critical boiler so benson boiler is a super critical boiler uh, mm. it generates steam at around 650 degrees celsius and mm -hmm. and its pressure range is around 220 bar devish what is load factor sir load factor uh, load factor is is about a is a, it tells us about the uh, Devish, unmute, unmute yourself, unmute yourself. Devish, unmute yourself. You have muted yourself. Unmute, करो अपने आप को. You need to click on the mic button, Devish. You are muted. Just click on the mic button to unmute yourself. Hello. Ah, uh, now now you are audible, Devish. Sir, load factor is actually the ratio of the average load of the plant divided by the uh, the maximum load of the plant during a given time period. What is that average load? Sir, average load is uh, is uh, sir. It is actually uh, it is actually calculated from the uh, load and uh, load versus time graph. Uh, mm. We actually, we actually, uh, it it is it actually tells in the load during the uh, during the time interval. So we take uh, we try to take an average such uh, which uh, which is an intermediate line. We can draw it from the load duration curve. Mm. I can draw it, sir. Uh, graph. So mm. on which thermodynamic cycle a thermal power plant works? Sir, thermal power plant works on the Rankine cycle. Acha, can you draw superheated Rankine cycle? And can you tell me the advantages of superheating and how we carry out superheating? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So can I? I do I have to draw the superheating? Draw yes, sir. yes. Just draw. Draw quickly. Just draw the superheated Rankine cycle and tell me the advantages of superheating and how we carry out superheating. Sir, sir, this whole reason, sir, it, is it visible? Uh huh. Sir, this whole reason is a superheated heated reason in the Rankine cycle, 
and the advantage of superheating is just that uh, um, the dryness fraction at the end of the turbine is uh, is at, is actually um, the quality of the steam at the end of the at the exit of the turbine increases and it it helps us to give more amount of work as well superheating what about uh, efficiency sir efficiency uh, sir yes sir efficiency is also of the rankine cycle increases uh, the, the because our mean temperature of heat addition increases so the efficiency also increases mm -hmm. devish what is specific steam consumption So specific steam consumption is the uh, sir. If sir, I I will try to guess a little bit. I am not confirm about it. Sir, mm -hmm. it is specific steam is the uh, is is the power generated uh, um, by per unit per per unit uh, amount of steam that uh, per unit kg of steam or vice versa. Sir, I'm a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is just reverse of that, but not completely. Have no no answer that. So, uh, Devish, my next question to you: Have you uh, undergone such some kind of you know training or internship in some uh, power station, power plant? No, sir, I have not done any such training in power plant. Okay, so uh, any is there any plant power plant nearby to your hometown? No, sir. So I have not seen. No, I have never visited any power plant, sir. There is no such power plant near my near Prayagraj where I live. So you are uh, from Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh. Yes, sir. I'm from Prayagraj. Mm. Okay. How much is the energy requirement of uh, Uttar Pradesh? Sir, uh, sir, per capita power consumption of Uttar Pradesh is around 600 uh, kilowatt. Uh, Per kilowatt hour per year, which is mm -hmm. half the half half of that of the national average. And how much is the percentage contribution of thermal power plant in meeting the overall energy requirement? Sir, in the overall uh, energy requirement of the country, uh, thermal power plant are producing around fifty-two percent of the total power. Mm. So why actually that country that percentage contribution of thermal power plant is decreasing so the main reason is uh, is the is, is the amount of pollution with the thermal power plant does uh, there the mm -hmm. severe pollution happens because most of the for example the greenhouse gases co2 and many other gases which are which can cause acid rain for example sulfur sulfur dioxide so these are emitted in the thermal power plant so it so it is advisable uh, as we are uh, uh, to to decrease the greenhouse gases, it is advisable to move to a uh, renewable sources of energy. What so, what other uh, alternatives we are having? So other alternatives uh, depends on the area. For example, if if there is certain certain some amount of water head is available, then we can go for hydro power plant. If there is good amount of uh, uh, sun energy coming, then we can go for go for solar power plant. And similarly, we can go for uh, wind energy and and uh, other substitutes. Mm -hmm. Fine. So my next question to you. Uh, okay, let me ask you one more question related to this. Okay, what do you understand by renewable energy? Sir, sir, renewable as the name suggests, uh, it is not, is not, uh, will not uh, vanish as time goes. Means it, it will, it will renew. Time, for example, the, the the solar energy which we are having, it is a renewable source of energy because it uh, it will not uh, it it will not uh, get exhausted as as. So why the energy why the energy which we will get from the coal is not a renewable energy? Sir, so, sir, so because the 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 coal which we are having right now has, is deposited. Uh, because uh, is is here because of the large amount of decomposition which has happened millions of years ago. So it, don't you it, feel it, that that cycle is also again going to repeat? Yes, sir. It will repeat, but it's it's a, a it takes quite amount of time. So mm -hmm. uh, it will it will repeat, but uh, 
it will take time so it is not a very advisable so because uh, for now it is uh, it is estimated that by 2050 uh, um, most of the power the coal reserves will will decrease uh, which we are having right now so in in that sense uh, that this time period of uh, coal coal production by the nature is quite is quite high. Devesh, what is the difference between peak load and base load plant? And what do you feel? The thermal power station is a peak load or base load plant? Sir, uh, base load power plant is a power plant uh, which generates power uh, continuously throughout the year. And uh, peak load power plant is that plant which which gives power uh, for the peak load. Uh, peak load uh, uh, when, when the when the requirement requirement increases, then we use peak load power plant. So in base load power plant, we use thermal power plant and in peak load, we generally prefer to use gas power plant. That is uh, because it is easy to start and stop. So we use uh, gas power plant in that. Achha, how we actually manage fly ash in a typical thermal power station? Sorry, sir. Can you tell me some of the devices which we use to manage or control the fly ash? Fly ash, sir. Fly ash, sir. If I am not wrong, then electrostatic precipitator is a device which is used mm -hmm. to control the fly ash. Uh -huh. So where uh, it is mounted? Where we mount this uh, electrostatic precipitator? And how it works? Sir, it is generally mounted after air preheater. And in electrostatic precipitator, what we have is that we have electrodes, positively charged and negatively charged electrodes. The negatively charged electrodes uh, uh, ionize the air which is present there. So uh, due to this, uh, uh, electrons are generated. And when electrons are electrons move toward the positive electrodes, so when flue gases enter the electrostatic precipitator, then these electrons hit these uh, flue gases and they get negatively charged and then they are they move toward the positive electrode and they get collected uh, mm -hmm. collected the positively charged electrode which is a collector plate devish mm -hmm. my last question is to you uh, what is the approach of a cooling tower sir approach of a cooling tower is the temperature difference between the uh, wet bulb temperature of the of the air, of the cool of the air, mm -hmm. and the and the exit temperature of the water, of the coolant water. Fine, okay, Devish. Yes. I'm I give you feedback, Devish. Yes, sir. So, Devish, overall, you're looking comfortable. Your understanding is looking good. Uh, I feel you revise the subject thoroughly. So I have not found any major problem uh, in your, you know, delivery style or uh, in your understanding. So it's looking yes. good, Devesh. Okay. So, so sorry. mostly you answered uh, most of the question you answered correctly. You, look, you are looking comfortable. Energy is looking good. So I think all things are uh, good, Devesh. Ah, yes, sir. yes. Anything you want to ask? So, sir, is there any problem in delivery? Is my English no, no, good? No, no, it's good. It's good. It's fine, Devish. No, no such issue. Okay, you are okay. trying and you are actually putting your efforts. Okay, so there is no issue involved. But yes, uh, delivery estate will further improve when you will uh, go for more and more snaps. It will improve. Okay, so some more expressions and energy you can put. This is only one suggestion to you. What can otherwise what's... it's totally fine. Some more expressions. Okay, you can say body language expressions and uh, energy. Okay. Otherwise, it's very good. The wish there is no such issue. Okay, so in, in the next snap, I will try. Sir. Ah, yes. So, whatever question I asked you, most of the question you answered. I think some more question maybe uh, uh, you will face in next uh, uh, snap. Okay, whenever you will come. Otherwise, okay. it's fine. The wish. Okay, because today I asked you majorly, uh, major question from thermal power station only. Yes, sir. Next time you, uh, I, I, uh, I will try to ask you some more questions from gas turbine, Breton cycle, okay, and some more general questions like uh, related to solar power stations or some questions related to turbine. Fine, Devish. Okay, sir. Okay, Devish. Good luck and best of luck for your final interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir.